Hello, my fellow waddlers. Um, okay. We are not going to do that. No, no, no. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a super simple semi-automatic bedrock edition cow farm to teach you how to make. Recently, I received a DM from Anas for Real on Instagram asking about leather farming on the Bedrock Edition. That DM got me thinking about that and then eventually designing this farm. The farm is very, very easy to use. Climb up top to breed the cows and then climb back down to kill the adult cows inside of this thing. I recommend killing the cows with a flame and looting three sword to maximize the amount of leather you can receive and so you will receive cooked beef instead of raw beef. The farm should be working on pretty much every version of Bedrock Edition as well as the PlayStation version of the game and so on. For your information, I am recording this video on Bedrock 1.11. There will be step timestamps down below. If you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more. Let's move on to the materials you'll need to collect to build this farm. So, 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 what do you need? Well, really, not all that much. You'll need 32 trapdoors and 32 staircases, at least. You will need some building blocks. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about those in a minute. You'll need two hoppers and then two chests or barrels or whatever. Something to store objects in. Now, you will also need an unspecified amount of building blocks, probably some ladders, and a few water buckets as well. So gather up this stuff and then you'll be ready to go. The big thing that you'll be needing is building blocks, so have a couple stacks on hand. To start the build off, we'll need to set up a platform. This platform should be 6 blocks wide and 8 blocks long. You can build this platform out of any block that you'd like that won't hurt the cows, so dirt, wood, uh, stone, anything. Next, we need to determine which side is the front. The front can be either of the six block long sides. Uh, I'll say my front is over here. In the middle, you want a double chest one block out and then two hoppers going into that double chest. Next, we need some walls around this platform. The walls should be six blocks high, uh, including the first block even with the platform. These walls should be built around the platform, not on the platform. And again, the block choice is totally up to you. I'm using planks, and I'll come back in and place some glass in this thing just to make it look nice, but you really don't need to. If you're super tight on blocks, you can also just skip the corners. It doesn't really matter, uh, so long as you have six high walls all the way around this platform. Except, of course, right above your hoppers. You'll want half slabs on the top half of the block above your hoppers. Now, before closing off the walls entirely around your build, you will want some water sources inside of this barn. Uh, place a water source one block up in either corner, and make sure you place a block below those water sources, and then place two more water sources directly in the middle. This should make a water current that pushes everything towards the front and center. After doing that, you can go ahead and close up the bottom part of your build. We shouldn't need back inside of that. Next, we'll need to get on top of the build, so if you're in survival, place some ladders reaching all the way up. Once on the top, we need to set up our cow holding pen. This should be one block in from either side and one block down. So, uh, something like this, going all the way along the length of your barn, from the front all the way to the back. You can do this with dirt, you can do this with wood, glass, really anything, so long as it is a solid block. After placing these two rows of blocks, come back in with some trapdoors. Make sure you open your trapdoors. Baby cows will see these trapdoors as solid blocks and try and walk over them and fall down into the water stream. These trapdoors should be on every open side of these block rows, which means you will need a total of 32 trapdoors for this step. Next, we need our staircases. The staircases can be any staircase variant you'd like. The stairs need to be upside down with the missing corner facing inwards, like I am placing here. With stairs placed like this, baby cows can fit into the middle, but adult cows cannot. Or at least can't entirely. The adult cows will stand over the gap just a little bit, but not enough to actually fall down into the water stream below. Now it's cow time. You'll need to get at least two adult cows in either side of this breeding area. You can get the cows into their areas by building some sort of staircase uh, leading up to the top and then holding weed out and leading the cows up here. Once you have a cow or two up on top, you should be able to nudge the cow into the gap. Uh, just like that. 
Now to get the most production out of this farm, you'll want more than two adult cows up top. I recommend jumping down into this trench and closing all of these trap doors and breeding the cows up until this top area is absolutely crammed with grown up cows, sort of like my example is over here. The more adult cows you have in the top, the more baby cows that will fall down each time you breed this thing. We will only be killing the cows down low, so you'll want more babies to fall down each time you breed up the cows. So it's up to you, but I definitely recommend getting more than four adult cows up top. One final thing that I would recommend adding to your farm is some sort of block to prevent you from falling down into the cow breeding areas. If you fall down into the cow breeding area and it's full, um, you're going to have to let some cows out and that'll be a problem. Once you are decently happy with the cow amongst that you have up in the top area, go ahead and reopen the trap doors and you're pretty much good to go. That's, that's actually it. Again, I recommend having a sword with fire aspect 2 and looting 3 to kill the cows. If you can make that sword a diamond sword and add sharpness to it, then you're in an even better spot. Now to use this thing, kill the adult cows that are down inside of this thing. If you kill the baby cows, you won't get anything. So I recommend breeding the top cows a few times and then waiting for all of the cows down low to grow up before you go ahead and kill all of the lower cows. But that is the whole cow farm. With this built in your world and a little consistency when using it, you should eventually get pretty stacked with leather and beef. If you enjoyed the tutorial, drop a like and subscribe. Check the description for the link to my Twitter, my Instagram, and even more. If you love what I do, maybe become a patron. On the end slide will be my tutorial playlist. What tutorial should I do next? Thank you very much for watching. My name is Waddles. Go have a good day. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.